What's going on crypto miners and welcome back to the channel. We're here at Metered Mining, a GPU, ASIC and AI hosting facility. Let's take a closer look. All right, guys, so I am here with Larvik, owner of Metered Mining. How's hey, it going? Good to see you, Javier. So where are we? Because we are in the middle of nowhere. I know, I know. Well, we're where the power's cheap, right? That's right, yeah. Western Wisconsin, so nice and cool here. Mm -hmm. Cheap power right next door to us, right next to a eight megawatt substation. Awesome. But yeah, I mean, let's go take a look inside. Absolutely, let's go. Look at this. Metered Mining. This is our GPU and our AI building. So I say a mix because really we have a big variety in here right now and it's only gonna spread out even more. These first four racks in front of us right now are all spoken for. We have roughly 3,500 CMP 170s down the road. Wow. Ready to get set up online. And these guys, these guys are a lot of, in a lot of spec mining but they're also in a lot of uh, AI projects moving forward. So, I mean, they even took it as far to develop their very own custom fans that go on the back of these CMP 170s to remove the case fans to save on wattage per Octo server. And how many of those are you gonna be hosting? 3,500 of these. 3,500, wow. Yeah, that'll take up these four racks in front of us. So that's why we're seeing a lot of room for expansion in here right now is because you got pretty much AI data center rigs coming in. Correct. Yeah. I mean, this this building is a 1.2 megawatt building. We have capability of doing four to five megawatts on site right now. But this entire building is spoken for. Wow. It, it is. We, we have some spacing in the middle of the building still for onboarding some current customers right now. Yep. We have a lot of guys working here today uh setting up a lot of those rigs but middle of the building we got 600 amp moonshot panels 125 amps per breaker going up and over and down to our custom made pdus on the reverse side of the of the uh distribution panels we have our our uh, breakers our our disconnects along with a lot of other guppins such as you know our step down our step up transformers for our fans or our outlets you name it yeah a lot of our current clients right now are running anything from a lot of 30 series cards is what we see most popular in our building right now we do have some larger cards on site but it's not as common right now the best buy in the market from what we're seeing is any 30 series cards okay very cool. Yeah. It looks like you got a variety of hardware in here. Octo miners, other server cases. I've even spotted some open air rigs in this facility. We do, yeah. So uh, we do have the capability of hosting not only server cases, but open air rigs as well. A lot of our local clients like to use open air cases, actually using the passive air from the server cases going through the open air and it keeps it relatively pretty cool. Yeah, so, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. Very cool. Yeah. So outside of GPU and AI, anything else that you guys are running in this facility from a hardware perspective? From a hardware? hosting? No, I mean, this, this building, its primary focus from day one was GPU mining and AI. With AI, we, we spec built this building to prepare for what may come in the future. Awesome. So even from an internet perspective, we technically have six lines of direct fiber coming into the building as backups, redundancies, and then even as like a fail safe, we have Starlink set up 
Very cool. As like a oh no option if we need to connect yeah, in, solution. shut down equipment, shut down PDUs, you awesome. name it, security. So what, what else do you have going on in the building here today? In the building today, I mean, man, we are repairing ASICs today that have been down, that we have some spare parts that finally came in. We got guys working on customer rigs, building them, repasting them, you name it. I mean, we, we have a plethora of stuff going on today. This is a playground for us GPU miners right here, I'll tell you what. Well, I mean, even you came in here yesterday, <laughs> and the first thing you did was start replacing fans. I thought it was amazing. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. Hey, if you see your ticket, and it says <laughs> repaired with love by the hobbyist, you know who fixed it. So over here you have like an ASIC repair station too that you guys are doing? So yeah. what are some of the common repairs that you guys do with ASICs? I mean, the most common ones are the top three, right? Uh, control boards, power supplies, and fans. Yeah. That, that's the top three in any ASIC. I mean, you can attest to that too. Yep. Uh, beyond that, uh, if it requires a little bit more tender love and care, we do partner with a repair center down in Chicago. Okay. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, we've only had to warranty a total of three machines between Ice River and Bitmain. So. Fantastic. So how do you guys handle your airflow in here? Because it's not super hot, but you can definitely feel the air moving. Yeah, absolutely. So as you can see from the front side of the building and the back side of the building, we have four 23,000 CFM fans that are ran on a VFD, which is a What's very- What's a VFD? Yeah, VFD is a variable frequency drive. Check that out. So, so what are we looking at here? Yeah, absolutely. So in the middle of the fans on the outtake side, there's a thermostat. That thermostat then transmit back to the, each one of these VFDs, which is connected to each single fan. And it basically changes the frequency of the fan to increase or decrease the fan speed based on the temperature of the building. Okay. And we have that built on both the front side and the back side of the building because some equipment, like right now, as you see, we got a lot of equipment front loaded on the back side of the building. So the fans on the back side are actually running hotter and harder than the ones on the front, which are running a little bit slower. Okay, so that's on the exhaust side, but then how do you guys actually bring in airflow in this building? Yeah, airflow is pretty cool and it's all passively done. So the exhaust fans are actually pulling in fresh, cool air fresh cool filtered air you can feel the air coming in here holy yeah, cow yeah and honestly you know you and i talked about this yesterday this isn't even enough intake we're doubling the amount of intake that we're bringing into this building okay so we'll be actually adding in eight more of these awnings above uh just to bring in more fresh cool air yeah and in the next couple of months we'll actually be blocking off the cold aisle which is on the other sides of the racks. Yeah. The middle of the building is technically considered the hot aisle. Okay. So yeah, because you have these blowing directly into where we were standing. Correct, yep. So fresh air comes in, goes through the equipment into the middle of the building, and then the exhaust goes up and out through each ends of the building. That's incredible. It's pretty cool design. That's incredible. Very cool. Yeah. So should we go outside? Because I think you got some fun stuff Absolutely. going on out there. Absolutely. This is only building one of what we're doing here at Metered Mining. So we got some really cool stuff in the back. Let's go check it out. All right. So you guys are not only into AI and GPU hosting, but also ASIC. We are. Yeah. Yeah. We work very closely with Giga Energy. So this is their Giga Energy uh, 1.4 megawatt model, uh, their large version. Uh, connected to our two megawatt transformer. So this container can hold 320 ASICs actually. Currently online we have 253 ASICs. We do still have open rack space, which is awesome. There's a lot of really cool technology built in their latest model. So a big thing is there, just like inside of our building where we had VFDs, the Giga Air also has VFDs built into it. So the cold air coming into the container is measured by a thermal sensor and then that is what adjusts the fan speed so cool air coming in the fan speed lowers hot air coming in the fan speeds increase keeps a nice ambient temperature for the miners so they don't fluctuate in temperatures very rapidly so uh, we're planning on expanding uh, to another giga right on the other side of this one 
beyond that, we can stack these as well, which is pretty neat. That's impressive. Yeah. That'll yeah. be very cool. Now, what type of uh, what type of hardware do you have in there? What's very some oh, of your common models? Man, I mean, we have just a super large array of different ASICs. I mean, people are mining Cadena, uh, script mining, LTC and Doge, Bell, uh, Bitcoin mining, of course. That's we're running right around twenty six petahash. Wow. Okay. Of, of Bitcoin equipment. That's right exciting. Now. Yeah. Uh, and I saw tons of ice rivers coming in. Yeah. Too. I mean, ice rivers they come in batches, right? So we do have quite a large amount of ice river equipment in our facility right now anything from ks5ls to ks5ms uh it it varies so you guys seem like you got loads of space for expansion out here huh we do yeah yeah so the the plan was start with one giga see how things grow well when pouring concrete we thought okay let, let, let's pour two pads in preparation. Maybe we'll get a gig, another giga in, in the next year or so. Well, we actually have another 1.4 megawatt giga container uh, pre-ordered. Once our 2.5 megawatt transformer arrives, we'll be able to place our next giga container, likely roughly middle of November. How many of you guys think you guys can fit out here? Uh, we can fit four pads across and we can double stack them. So we can fit eight currently on its current layout. And then our expansion plan is actually to blow out this back fence and add in four more pads, which means we could wow. stack another eight containers behind that. So in total, we're looking at 16 giga containers and two buildings. All right, so we're at the end of the property. Is this another transformer you guys have, or what is this? Yeah, so that, that's actually a switch gear. Okay. Uh, so the substation is actually right behind us. Okay. Uh, we are on a, our own dedicated circuit at the substation. So that means if Tom and Jerry down the road blow up the grid in any way, mm -hmm. we're on our own dedicated circuit that won't be affected by any other part of the grid. The only thing that could really take us down is if that substation got blown over in some <laughs> form or fashion. Okay. So, and in Western Wisconsin, that stuff just doesn't happen. So it goes dedicated circuit from the uh, substation to switch gear to these junction boxes here. There's two locations there. We actually are fully built out ahead of time for 20 megawatts of power of wire in the ground. Wow. Yeah, we, we partnered with the power company, not, not financially, but in the, same, idea, same vision. in the idea of growing together. It's like, hey, we, we, we don't want to tear up wire in the future. How do we plan for, the, for our, our full potential here at okay. this site? So, you know, my vision for this site is a 20 megawatt site. So you guys seem to take security pretty seriously, especially with this hardcore fence. <laughs> Absolutely, I mean, uh, just even from an insurance premium standpoint, this is a requirement for a lot of data centers, keeps our premium way low, but also people are entrusting us with a lot of high valued equipment that yeah. we're sending our way. So um, adding in our six foot high security fence, three strand barbed wire around the it's entire It's coming this property. week I heard, which is awesome. It is, yeah, yeah, the three strand barb will be this week. Uh, beyond that, I mean, we have motion sensors, alarm systems, cameras throughout the entire facility. The police department's only two minutes down the road. The fire department's four minutes down the road. So yes, we're in the middle of nowhere, but we, we invested quite a bit just to make sure that not only I can sleep at night, but our customers can as well. So what sets meter mining apart from all the other hosting companies out there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what started this whole thing was a group of local miners coming together and saying, we need cheaper power. Yeah. We need a home for our home miners. Mm -hmm. I mean, we need a spot to run our equipment. And then it only grew from there to other people reaching out saying, hey, I, I need cheap power as yeah. well. I need that space for my GPU equipment, my AI equipment, mm -hmm. my ASICs. Uh, this is definitely a space where we need more, more of these types of companies yeah. around to be able to host different types of equipment for miners all over the place. It, it's a perfect home for home miners. A hundred sounds like hundred percent. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, the the growth that that the community has shown towards us. I mean, it, it's it warms me up. It's just it's awesome. All right. So how can people? 
learn more about metered mining? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, MeteredMining.io, easiest way to reach out to us. You can click the Get Started button right on our website or schedule one-on-one -on -one with me directly. That's awesome that you guys do that. Also, if you guys reach out to me through my Discord, through Twitter, email, I'll get you connected with him directly. Larvik, I appreciate you having us hey, today. Hey, obvious. Thanks, Thank man. Thank you. I appreciate you.